Okay, so the hamsters are asleep in the fun house. Now what I want to show you is the food bowl that I, it's a temporary food bowl. We're going to replace this with a new one that hasn't arrived yet. Um, but I do notice that a lot of the bedding gets into the food bowl. So I wanted to find a solution to this because it's not very nice for the hamsters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a divide and I'm going to show you how I make that. So they were just playing in the funhouse over here but now they are asleep so I'm now going to make the divide for the food area so what you will need is some cardboard now this cardboard was the cardboard box that the funhouse was packaged in and I'm going to be using that and what you need to do is you need to make a bend in the cardboard and that will be its support so it can stand up and I need to make an area over here and this will be like a small like kind of hallway so that it will be able to get in to get its food and I will place this with what however wide I want it to be and that will stand up once the bedding goes back into place and the weight goes onto the cardboard. So I will also need a second cardboard and this should have a slit down there so that you can slot the other cardboard into it, kind of like a T-shape so that it stays in place. And then I will make a little doorway in the cardboard over there. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to stand it up like this and slot that into there. Like that. Like that. And then. So basically, I'm going to show you from this side how it will look. So you can see. That's right up there. And that's where I will put the food so that no bedding will go in. And then they will go, put a hole in here, they will come out. Yeah. And if I put all this bedding over, it will keep that from falling. And then when the bedding will go all the way over there. So it will end up like that. So now with a knife, I'm just going to make a little, um, not one of these kind of knives that you use for DIY, do the job perfect, I'm just going to make a little hole here. I'm just going to take all that out again. So I am going to draw a door here, like in um, a shape of an arch, so that the hamsters can use this doorway to get in and out to get their food. So there is the doorway. Like that. I'm going to place it with that now. Okay. Yeah. There we go. There it is in place. Put that bit in the back.
So here is the doorway and then they'll walk through here into the food bowl and then walk around. So it will be interesting to see when they wake up whether this will work um, and you know it will be a success because it will no longer will the bedding go into the food bowl and so I'll be really pleased about that. So it's just waiting now for the hamsters to wake up. Here is one of the Russian hamsters coming out now. So she's having a drink of water. It's a very unusual way of drinking water. I've never seen her drink it like this before, but drinking her water and I'm interested to see now whether she goes in the divide that I've made to see whether she knows where her food is or even how to get to her food so be interesting to watch well she can certainly smell the food from the other side of the cardboard but now she just needs to know how to get to it And perfect, she has made it to the food bowl, um, so I'm really pleased it has worked, um, so that's great. So if you're thinking of making something like this, it's very simple to do. Um, the other female hamster, she's asleep at the moment, so also be interested to see her find the food as well when she wakes up. But great, I'm very happy with that decision. I might even do a divide and on the other side of the cage for the um, sand bath because I notice again a lot of the bedding is getting mixed in. Um, so I might try something like that, we'll see. Um, but I'm very pleased that it worked. I'm also very pleased with the fun house and how they have converted it into their real house. They've actually made it into a bedding area at the bottom. So that's a perfect buy for me because I was literally just going to use it for a play, play house and um, but it's um, worked as both so that's great um, so yeah so I can see her when she collects all the bedding and then she goes in and makes her bed inside that's lovely to see so she's comfortable with that so I'm going to keep that in there and that will be their bedding loving the little bell as well 